Okay, I don't know if anyone's here yet. But I am live. Oh, okay, cool. No, people are coming, people are coming. It says zero are watching, though. Hey, Reggie. How's it going? <laughs> I look thrilled. Yeah, no, I, I am. I'm looking forward to having a good time, man. Still says zero watching, though. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing, or it just doesn't refresh. Obviously, people are here, and I'm going to start playing pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, it just probably refreshes every few minutes or so. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with Thunder Force 2. This is the copy that I actually uh, got when I purchased my Genesis in August of 1989. When it launched in Denver. And it was either that, Space Harrier 2, Last Battle, Super Thunder Blade, or Worldwide Soccer. I made the right choice. I definitely made the right choice. And although a lot of people don't feel that this game has aged very well, I really like it. I do. Alright, so without further ado, let's start Thunder Force 2. How do I get out of this? Oh, exit. Hopefully that's not too loud. If it's if it's covering my voice, let me know. Thanks, James. Exactly what I always say. Play with the controller upside down. Uh, that's very hard. Okay, now I got you. Got me out of my rhythm. All right. Now, I'm one of the few people in the world who actually kind of enjoy these overhead segments. Um, I can see why people don't like them. Because they are kind of eh. But I've learned to enjoy them. And I think the voices, at least the, uh, the sample quality in this game, is very, very good. The, the voices are very clear. Unfortunately, she does not speak English very well so you don't understand what she's saying but as the recording goes and voice quality goes it's just very good chaotic on these overhead levels. This is you gotta destroy four of these bases. And I've done that. So now it's on to a side scrolling level. Yeah this, the sharp X68000 version when you die it goes shit at least when you lose your last life. I don't think every life. I kind of like this level because it, the way it gives you the weapons, uh, it's good if you use them in the order that you get them. Like you start using them right away. Like teaches you about the ah! teaches you about the weapons. I love the music in the stage too, but of course I'm talking over it so you can't enjoy it. And that's okay. I'll enjoy it. That. that was my role. That's okay. It's been a while since I've played this one. Probably close to a year. I try to play it often though. And now I'm completely invincible. 
while I have this, but of course there's no warning. Not much, well, kind of turns white before it goes away. I've never noticed that before. Wow. I've had this game like 45 years and I just now noticed that. Oh, there's my roll. I don't know what that other one I missed was. Roll just makes your little claw thingies, your options, spin faster. I don't really care for Nova because it it goes the opposite direction of your uh, D-pad. And I swear this boss, once he gets to his second phase, he makes like Pac-Man noises or something. Arcade Pac-Man noises. Doesn't that sound like Pac-Man? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I've always thought that anyway. And you can tell what's hitting them by the color of your things. The yellow means you're hitting them. Or doing damage, rather, and the blue means you're not. The impact things. Sounds like Pac-Man. Game Chasers is here. Where's my boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. I'm so sorry. You want to be my boyfriend? Okay, let me get past this stage real quick. It won't take long. Genesis does, yes. Thanks, James. So yeah, every other stage is a side view versus a overhead view. If you didn't know that, now you do. Thanks, Thunderblaze. I hope you guys can read the chat in the video window. I, I put that in OBS just, you know, for archive's sake. I hope it's legible. If, if, if it's not, I'm not going to do that on future streams. Not that you guys need to pay attention to that now, anyway. But I figured it'd be good for archival purposes. This is the weapon I like. Oh, I missed the one up. I hate it because those poles they uh the hunter goes for. Them. Oh crap. And when you die, you lose all of your weapons. Who doesn't like that? The future Thunder Force is uh fix that. So I'll have to defeat this guy, which is my default weapon, which can be done. Because he can't aim his turret up. He can't hit me. <laughs> what an idiot. Hey, Lewis. Hey, thanks, Lance, for your Canadian $10. Okay, somewhere in this stage, I always have to sacrifice one of my lives in order to get through one of the things. I, I don't think there's a way not to, to my knowledge. And I hate these things that float around you blocking your shot. It's really not appreciated. Let's see if I can remember where you go, because you can't slow down. You're always going. I like the stereo in this. This was the first time I really noticed stereo on the Genesis. I think that was like, 
the second game I played on the thing, but yeah. And Altered Beast was completely in mono. Okay, is it up here? Nope. Jesus. I only have seven dudes left. Nope. Where is it? Must be up here. Yeah. It's scrolling much too fast. Gaul. Okay, yeah, now here somewhere is where I have to sacrifice a life, I believe, to get through. Yeah, up here, I, I always just do it. There might be another way around, but if there is, I don't know of it. There probably is. What's weird is that the uh, lives don't carry over to the side views. It's, it's different. They each have their own set of lives, at least. It seems that way. I beat every game. I wish I could beat every game. Now this stage is where I kind of start screwing up. I mean, I'm not bad at this stage, but especially the one after. I'll fail pretty quick, and then we'll move on to Thunder Force 3. I said Frick. I can't believe I actually said Frick. I never cuss and say Frick. This is a live stream. I can say fuck. Oh crap. Only six dudes left. Sorry guys, I'm just really, really concentrating, which you kind of have to do in shooters. Okay. Row, which does me no good. Everything in this game is just so random. Missiles come out of nowhere. It's just no rhyme or reason. Hey, Randy. PC engine effects misses me. I've been a PC engine effects. I, I look in there. I don't. I don't post a lot, but I, I look in there. Usually, at least once a day, if not every other day. I used to think this little slug guy was so cool. What, Billy? Just the way he moves, and like he's all segmented and stuff, I was like, that's 16-bit power. Can't do that on the NES. Well, you probably could, kind of. These graphics. Ernest Evans' dream. Make it happen. Okay, here's where I mess up, because I can't remember where all the bases are, and they've got these things, like, these borders blocking you, and you've got to find your way around them. Here's a base, and again, i got to blow up four of these, and there's no map, of course. can't remember if the X68000 one had one. Come on, die. At least most things stay dead when you kill them here. Oh 
Alright, thanks, Lewis. Yeah, when I get to Thunder Force 4. <laughs> yeah, I'll be kind of sad. I'm very out of practice with that one. Okay, I know there's one right here. Of course, they've got all these things on the ground protecting them. How many hits do you need to die? Now I'm invincible. And that's no good because I won't need it right now. I wish I could just... At least I got over on this side, but I don't know where I am. Is there one up here? No. I just don't have enough experience with this stage. Now, I've already been here, because I can see there's things that are dead. I only have four more dudes left. And their ships. It makes me sad, too, because I really like the music in the next stage. I want to get to that. I have a feeling one's around here. Like, it should be there, but it's not. It's these guys instead. Oh! Not there either. I really, really wish I had a map. Or at least memorize. Here's one of them. This was probably back in the day when map screens were it was just too taxing on the Genesis. Laser! They got one more, I believe. Can I find and defeat it? If I can find it, I'm sure I can defeat it. There's something down here I revealed. I heard the little thing. There we go. Five way. You guys like five ways? Five ways? Where you are, I do not know. I am trapped. Or at least like a cursor on screen pointing me like, say, you might want to go up and to the left or something. I'd appreciate that at least. But then again, these levels just like continuously loop. So it's, it, that probably wouldn't do too very much good. And did I miss a $5 donation? I'm sorry. Thank you. Ah. Now hold on. Someone donated 654 through Streamlabs. I'm not seeing it on my Streamlab thing here. But Big Bear with Big Beard. Okay, thanks, man. Sorry, guys. I'm still new to the streaming stuff. I don't know how to set up Streamlabs and all that. I asked a bunch of people, of course, no one, no one knows. I'm sure someone knows, but that, that person is not me. I feel like I'm just flying around aimlessly, which I pretty much am. I'd really like to know where to go. Yes, there it is. Here it is. Here it is. I'm on my last dude. Can I do it? No, I can't. Screw it. I'm continuing. I gotta try this again. No. Still no, have no idea where I am. I 
This level is so frustrating. There's no rhyme or reason. And everything takes like nine hits. And there's not one there where there should be. I've still got to get all four of them since I continued. If I don't, I'm going to Thunder Force 3. I don't think I've even gotten one of them yet. I really don't like this level. There's one. Destroying these mofos will protect me. Now I can... <sighs> I was going to say I can destroy it at my leisure now, but no. really, really do not like this stage. Jesus, that took like 20 shots, 20 hits. Gotta be one right here, right? You know. Okay. So I know I've, I've destroyed at least two. I don't know if I did three or not. I don't know where I'm at. I mean, both figuratively and literally. Here's one. I think that was the one I was looking for before. Oh, good, good, good. Thank God. That was the last one. I love the music in this stage. I'm gonna die, but I am gonna continue. Thanks, James. I don't think I'll be playing Virtual Highlight anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Definitely continuing. Thank you, Yasin. That's like two British pounds. That's like five hundred dollars in the U.S. With the exchange rate we got going. I love how that just opens up everything for me. Stay down here this time. Thank you. Yeah! Oh! Totally my fault.
Yes, I am playing on on a TRT. That really, really helps. Apparently, not enough. Thanks, Krokerik. It's my opinion of Felios. It was not bad. I was. I liked it when I got it. I really liked the music. It's definitely an acquired taste, but after you play the arcade version, it's just like. I don't know. It's hard to play the Genesis version after the arcade because they, they cut back so much. Jesus! Which is bad. I'm not that part. Die, please. There's something one up here and needs to die. Just a mid boss. Oh, not good. Oh, yeah. I've forgotten about this part. I'm gonna die, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I don't remember which way to go, up or down. I think it was up. This is gonna start scrolling really, really fast. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I chose wrong. I chose wrong. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Thunder Force 3. That's right, Thunder Force 3. And this is my Thunder Force 3 cartridge. My dad actually got me this for uh, my birthday before it came out in the US, so this is a Mega Drive Japanese cartridge. So, same one. I'm gonna play it right now on my Model 1 Genesis from August 1989. Thanks, MGR. You watch GameStack to put you to sleep. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay, we on? That's weird. It's not exactly centered, but whatever. Okay. This game I probably can beat, because if you can't beat this game, I, I don't know how you can't beat this game the first time you play it. It's super easy. You can select your stage, but of course I always go with this one. Because it's the first stage. Yeah, the music in this one's really, really good. Pretty much every stage. Oh! The voices are much worse in this one. Fire! Fire. Hidden weapon up here. me to die. It's okay. I think I can still beat the game. Yeah, this game has a lot more style than part two. It's just over so fast. How do I play a Japanese Mega Drive game on my Genesis? I just insert it into the cartridge slot. You can uh, file the, the edge of the cartridge slot so it fits in there. Or you can just plug it onto a Game Genie, and that should just work. 
or some 32Xs will actually even let you uh, insert a Mega Drive cartridge. Have I played Sonic Mania? Yeah, I like it for a Sonic game. Pretty good. Thought it kind of reused a little too much from the past, though, though I really like that first Green Hill Zone. I would have liked more original material in the game, though. And shorter levels. So I just kind of got bored. I just like, where's the boss? Where's the boss? I want to fight the boss. The bosses were really fun in that game. Pretty sure I can do this without continuing. Not without dying, especially since I've already died. We'll see. I don't know. Usually, though, I'm not blabbing my mouth when I'm playing this game, so I'm gonna do worse. I also haven't played this one in about a year. Or so. blown away at this level back in the day. It's like, whoa, it's so wavy. How do they do that? That's insane. Of course, the uh, same effects, you know, they didn't on the NES and everything. I can't remember the exact pattern of those uh, lava pillars. But one or two of them may get me in this level. I love the music, though. Firebirds. Seems all they make these days are like uh, overhead shooters, which I don't like as much as horizontal. I'm sorry. I like horizontal shooters so, so much more. They just have more creativity in them. They have more unique stages. I just like them better. They're more fun. They don't all take place in space. He should be dead by now. There we go. I've never heard of Death... Well, I've heard of Death Smiles, but I've never played it, no. mom, of all people, really liked the music to this stage. She would listen, she made me uh, record it on a cassette tape, like this and a bunch of other video games music, and she'd listen to it in her car, and she'd roll down the windows and blast it. She didn't care what other people thought. She was, like, pretty old, too, when she did that. I mean, back then. For someone listening to video game music, I thought that was pretty cool. I really wish I could get the saver back. That really is the, the weapon to have in this game. That and the hunter. Oh, this one's not bad.
Oh, oh, oh. Colors too, purple and blue and gray. Got to keep in mind this was before the Super Nintendo and it's 32,000 colors, which is only half of what the Neo Geo can do. Super Nintendo should feel ashamed. Not the Genesis though, only having 512 colors. That's okay, but only 32,000. Give me a saver. I mean, it's spelled sever, but she says save So I'll have to do my normal weapon, but with the claws. It helps that I have a shield. It really helps. Yes, this is really live. Thumbs, thumbs up, yes. Well, delayed. It's on a time delay, you know, so the sensors can cut out the naughty cuss words and stuff. And the nudity. Because there will be nudity on the stream. Now, I like this music, but this is the one that I, I just wish the tune was longer before it repeated. Shield there. I think one more hit and it's gone. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't need this, but I want it. There we go. Ooh. Anyone got the shield around here? I better use my hunter. Just in case. I'm gonna slow my shit down again, just in case. Oh crap, 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 crap. Ah. I should have switched to something else. Jesus. I know one part, yeah. Here you start going backwards. I thought that was back there. I thought that's where, where I was at. So I'm gonna try to beat it on one credit. I don't know why I did that. Just die. No one likes you. Even this game requires so much more concentration than something like Ghouls and Ghosts. I mean, both are like super easy games, but you really gotta focus on this one. Whereas that one, you can just like look at it every once in a blue moon. And you'll do okay. And like on this one, I sometimes lose track of what I'm saying. Oh, 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 gotta get over here. I know there's one coming down yet. Increase my speed. I think there's a shield somewhere, somewhere around here. Is that what she said? That's what it sounds like she said. There we go. Shield. 
Now we got green and blue rocks. Only the Genesis can do that many colors. Look at that. 16 bit power, yo. Genesis truly does what it do. Favor. Still think I can do it. Yeah. Stage four down, yo. This is not eight mega power. This is only four mega power. Four. Like the, like Thunder Force two. Same amount of memory. Thunder Force 4, though, is 8 meg. I like the music here. It's pretty cool, although I also wish the song were longer. Still, the tune's really good. Look how blue it is. Thank you. Don't really need you now, though. And this is the last of the regular stages. There's only five regular stages, and then it goes into the stages you can't select from the beginning. I think there's a total of eight. Seven, seven point one, maybe. So much for that mid boss. Did you see? He didn't even last a second. Anyone can beat this game. anyone on their first try even if you've never played a video game before I still love it though especially because of the music and the graphics were pretty good at the time I like how in the manual I can't really show you right now but in the manual they have these like close-up shots of some of the enemies and you see the scan lines on the CRT and you totally see that they were using an RGB monitor. I was like, how is it so clear? And I just didn't understand at the time. It's like, why does it look so good? Why doesn't it look that good on my TV with my sweet composite video connection? Probably even RF at the time. So I'll kick this guy's ass. Toast! Can't spell barf without the RF. <laughs> I really like the music in this stage. I like the music in all the stages. Listen to that stereo for the hunter when I fire it. Such stereo. There's mono in Thunder Force 2. Appreciate that stereo. Hopefully an OBS broadcast in stereo. 
I'll have to listen to the stream later after it's archived. Yeah, I probably won't. Stereo to you? Good. Uh oh, there's a hunter here. I need the 10,000 points, or is it 1,000? I should have really slowed down my shit before I got that. Now I, now I depleted my shield for 1,000 points. It's not worth it. Not even Joe wants to watch Game Shack. <laughs> to the ship, and I definitely want to slow my ship down, so I'll put it on the slowest speed. Nicole, you'd rather talk about boobs? I don't blame you. And this boss is just so easy, you just have to stay hidden in this little crevice up here. It's just ridiculous, the end. Put my speed back. I wonder what Dave's doing. Probably something boring. Dave's coming down tomorrow. We're shooting a, a Left in Japan. Left in Japan 10. Which should be out in December, I think. We, we really make our videos very far ahead. Love the music in this stage. And you should too. Definitely better than like Insane Clown Posse. I don't know why I always think of them, but it's definitely better than Insane Clown Posse music. Real good. Okay, I know there's a shield replenish down here somewhere. I'm not worried too much. But I am getting low on lives. I only have 10 left, so I don't know if I can do it. Oh, I only have 11 now. <laughs> I think I might do it, guys. This is the second to last stage. And the last stage really isn't much of a stage. I needed that, because it will tally my score at the end. And I want to make sure I have the high score. Oh, look, I already do! <laughs> I 
I wish it... I do wish games, like, saved your score, like, forever. That'd be great. I guess that's what the instruction manual's for, so we can just write them down. But who keeps those? You gotta throw them away along with the box and just keep the cartridges. not even very entertaining for you guys to watch. I'm just blowing right through it. No problem. Except when I did have problems earlier. Really. Okay. Boss time? Such stereo. Oh, I can't destroy the, the boxes, so... Shots to avoid. Which is just as easy said as done. Ha! Thanks for the ten dollars! Sorry, I gotta... Pause that, because I missed that. What I want to just say? Would it be better to sponsor Game Tech here or just Patreon my $5 a month? Uh, it's up to you. Um, I don't know how much of a difference it really makes to us at the end of the day. We appreciate it either way. Alright, Denver Bronco colors. Orange and blue. Now to the last boss. Ominous. I don't know guys, think I can do it? I don't know if I can. I'm not even going to use a special weapon, I'm just going to use my normal one. Oh man, I'm crazy using my normal weapon and sacrificing lives and stuff. Whew. Yeah! 1cc, bitch! Oh, check this out. Oh, wait. After this, though. After, after this. this it's going to have some scaling. And it puts the Super Nintendo to shame. Super Nintendo thinks it's all badass with this Mode 7. I don't think so. You just watch what's coming up. Just, just You just wait. It's going to be awesome. Barely made it with only 14 lives left. That was close. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Whoa! Watch, even the ship, even the ship scales. A few Super Nintendo, you can't do that. Genesis does, bitch. And it scales back out, too. It not only scales forward, but away. Amazing. It truly is. No, that wasn't chunky scaling. That was, like, only the best scaling. It was, like, faster than the refresh rate on my TV. That's why it appeared chunky. I blame this dream. But does it rotate? No, this one doesn't rotate. Hmm. I bet Dave is crying. What are your thoughts on exes that steal rare games in a divorce? <laughs> not good. Not good. I haven't had that happen to me, but that would not be good. Of course, I've never been divorced. I've never even been married. That's okay, though. Yep, Thunder Force 4 is coming, but we got to watch the ending first, because the ending is exciting. Even though it's a Japanese game, it's in English. The ending. So you can read the English... Oh, spoilers, by the way. Here's the ending. YouTube will keep my score forever, so I can throw out that manual. How did you guys come up with the name GameSack? We just wanted something slightly vulgar. 
That's basically it. Now, I have Thunder Force 4, but I also have Lightning Force. Now, I can play Lightning Force by just plugging in my Genesis and turning it on, but to play Thunder Force 4, it's region locked. So I'm going to have to do something special with that. Sega Sack is more vulgar. I don't want to just limit myself to Sega stuff, though. Greetings from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Hi from 20 seconds ago in the U.S. Game sack is game chart. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Game Chart. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yep, Gene and Shelly spelled just like that. With Compton. With Compton. Oh, check this out. See the dude's hand in the spaceship holding up the little victory sign? If I press and hold the A, or the, I mean the C, he, he waves it. Look at that. If I let go, he stops. Interactive endings. Sega rule. Technosoft rules. You can only do that on Genesis. Game sack is sweaty. Am I sweaty? I don't feel sweaty. Okay. Come on, come on. Because I got to show you the Winky guy. Once I show you guys the Winky guy, then, then we can go to Thunder Force 4. No, N Nintendo, you can't do that. There's something else you can only do on Sega. See the, see the happy guy right there? Well, I can't really point to him because he's right next to the uh, red haired girl. You hold C, watch his eye. Oh, yeah. That's the power of the Sega Genesis for you. I want his eye closed, though. There we go. He's asleep. Man, I love Sega. Interactive endings. Amazing. Music is so sad. Okay, people are starting to tune in now, so I'm, they must know that it's time for Thunder Force 4. And Thunder Force 4, the Japanese Mega Drive. So in order to play this, I'm gonna need the game genie. After you Thunder Force 3, you're done. No signal. At least that's what it says for you guys. I can totally see it right here. Alright, so I've got to enter this code, which is just a region bypass. It's not going to help me. I'm not cheating. I'm not putting in an invincibility code or an extra lives or anything. Just a region bypass. Trust me. Okay. A, A, B, T, A, A for J. MTCT AA8C Make sure the Game Genie is on. Yes, it is. You ready for some Thunder Force 4? You want to see me fail hard? Because I'm way out of practice and this game just it's not for the uninitiated. It's very difficult. So let's get to it. That's Joe's Wi-Fi password. Technosoft. And yeah, I'm letting the intro play.
damn straight. I usually like that at 75. Can't do that because I think it only gives you a limited number of levels. However, I can increase that. All right. That's right. Nintendo had D for Super Nintendo. Pretty impressive game. Better than this, anyway. Now, one thing that's impressive about this, this, a lot of the stages in here is they're so big. And the scrolling is just awesome. But at the same time, I feel like I'm missing a lot of what's going on. I feel like I should be down there when I'm up here and vice versa when I'm down here. So it's like I never know exactly where I should be in these, these large stages. Oh yeah, you die. Well, I've never actually, I don't think I've ever succeeded in actually killing that thing. And not an actual rail gun. But that's what they call it. That's okay though. And yes, this game has just a tiny bit of slowdown. See, again, you can tell if you're doing damage by the color of the little smoke clouds on the enemy. If it's orange, you are doing damage. If it's blue, you're not. Hey, thanks, it puts things in things, or whatever it was. <laughs> Just a little bit of slowdown. I almost think you're playing on the Super Nintendo, but you're not. The Genesis is just as powerful as the Super Nintendo. It can do slowdown, too. Come on, eat my rail gun. Okay, let's go above the water and we can fight. There's no reason for both of us to be down here. I've always enjoyed the music in this game. It's a good game. Boss is just hanging, hanging his little thing out the ship. And he'll continue to do so for a little while, for no reason. Just teasing us. With his little thing dangling out. But I am doing damage to it. Look at the color of the little smoky clouds. But not anymore. Now it's blue. Maybe I was just blowing up those things. That's what I saw being one. Here he comes. There he is. Come on, guy. You gotta hit him in that little blue crystal thing he keeps right in his gun. His gunt. You guys know what a gunt is? Surely some of you must. Now the bosses don't die after one second like they do in Thunder Force 3. It takes like a couple of minutes. They were serious when they made this game. My Genesis loves playing this game. Oh, he's 
gonna fire. Okay. You can always tell. They always have their tells. I like that. Come on, die already. Ooh! I got too close, too close. A uh, little crystal thing is gonna come out and try and get me, and it did. That's good. It's gonna be hard beating him with just this. Never mind, I just did. I love the voices in this game. This weapon is always weird. I've never really used it. it just cost me a life trying to use it because I couldn't defend myself. A snake weapon, whatever they call it. This is probably the best weapon, especially if you have a claw and a whole bunch of shields. Cool. Mid-boss, this guy really likes to slow down. If you want to test your overclock genesis, this is the guy to do it on. Just hold down the fire button. I'm glad he didn't put up much of a fight, though. You know the way... You're the Genesis! You're not supposed to freeze! Screw it! I'm gonna play Lightning Force then. Start over. Maybe I can do better this time since I have that practice I just did. Um, I know you work. Oh, my Genesis didn't die. That would not be good. There it goes. Just takes a while for the Sega logo to come up. I saw another donation on a... Uh... I'm gonna wait for it to scroll by again. Smoke Monster. Thanks, Smoke Monster. Genesis does. So, I'm just gonna do the stages in the order I like to do them in now. But I always do this one first. Genesis does uh, freeze me. Oops, I forgot to turn my ship speed up. Hold on. I need to do it up here. Don't know where I should be, so I'll just keep going up and down. That's gotta be annoying to watch. It's not annoying when you're playing it to go up and down, but. Watching someone else do it. I think that would be annoying. Blade. Blade. The weapon is called Blade, as you can see. But she says, Blade. I don't know where they find these women. Never, I don't think I've defeated that thing. I think I said that. I'm up here. Now 
back down. Where gun? Probably really need to clean the contacts in my Genesis. The thing's only 50 years old. I need a Genesis cleaning kit. back and forth a few times and then you'll come out to play and then I'll take 45 minutes to kill you. How's that sound? Now it does look like I'm damaging him but I, I don't think I really am. Jesus Christ. Honestly this game is like a little too hard for me to like properly enjoy. I mean I do enjoy it but it's just, I don't know. I get frustrated with it too easily and I just don't want to play it. So I think they just kind of overdid the difficulty in this one a little. I mean, I'm glad it's harder than Thunder Force 3 for sure. But Jesus. want it super hard, just turn up the difficulty. That's what I always say. The default doesn't have to be like super hard. Of course, here I am, bitching and whining about a difficulty, and I defend games like Cuphead for being hard. But I guess it's okay. You just gotta learn the game, spend a lot of time with it. Please die. Thank you. Now the sandy level. Where it's also way too big. And I feel like I'm missing out on what's going on. Okay guys. I really need a shield and I need some claws. I need you to die. I don't think you die. Please, thank you. Come on, little curly guy. Open up and die. Did you open up and die? There you go. Please die. No reason for you to live. No reason. Come on. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now you're dead. Now I have no shield. I have beat this game though, multiple times, so. Here I am whining about the difficulty because I'm out of practice, yet I've beaten it before. Cool. 
think this is the boss, but it's not. Oh, good, I died. I don't know why I just can't retain my skills. Like Once I've achieved a level of skill in a game, I should just be able to always retain that level, even if I haven't played the game for years. I should lose nothing. That's just the way it should be. But no, I've got to be human. Yeah, my ass handed to me. Alright, I'm not going to continue. I'm not really enjoying this right now. But, let me get to a part where there's no music. Fuck it. Um, thanks for tuning in to the Thunder Force stream. Um, I'll try to choose some better games. I mean, I really like the Thunder Force games, but I'll try to choose some games that maybe more people will want to see next time. I don't know, maybe something I'm better at. We'll see, but anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to give this 30 seconds before I say stop streaming so it doesn't cut me off because people said it cut off my last few words last time. So with that said, it's not going to cut off my words because I, there's...